So my little Marconi decided to play up again and it's playing up and not working properly. Um, doing some testing, I pulled this uh, heat sink off the back here, which has got the voltage regulators on there. It's got a 5 volt regulator at the top. And I actually desolved the wire, which is just down there, and put a current meter in, in series and it's pulling 3.1 amps. And I measured that when I pulled off this plug here, PLN, which runs a lot of the digital electronics stuff in here. Um, the voltage came back, it was dropping down to 3.4 volts or so. And um, when I pulled that plug off, it worked. Um, well, the voltage was there, otherwise, it's being dragged down. Um, so I traced that down, going around pulling plugs or things, and I pulled the bottom covers off this one. So, top covers, that's the top unit. Um, metal plate here. Almost it's over it. And uh, I found that this chip right here there's a little dimple on top of it. Right there. Right, so that's uh, 74LS90N. Here's the part number. I don't know. Uh, is that IC, which was that? IC16. Here's the part. Um, I thought I'd get my mouth a bit here. I stick, I stick the probes in there, like so. I'll oh, see there's nothing on the meter right now. Click it on. Get 3.2 volts. And that chip is getting hot. So if I pull this plug off again, and I measure that supply right there again. Measure the supply after I pull the chip off. 5 volts, like it's supposed to be. Um, it's basically positive 5 volts and negative 5 volts, I've got the pros wrong around, so anyway. But that chip is what's the problem is, it's getting hot. Now the chip's getting hot, so that's what the problem is caused by. Time to find another one. Well, I've got the board out, um, trying to dissolve the chip's been a real pain. It's uh, not really wanting to desolder. So I'm going to do it the other way to sit here and trim off the legs with a pair of colours and do it that way so the mean so I can then get them out one pin at a time right so I've replaced the IC what I've done is I've put a uh, socket in place because I don't actually have a 74LS90 I do have a 7490A which is very similar, um, it's got slightly different power specs but otherwise it's almost identical so see so I've resolved that and clean up all the flux and stuff so let's really go back in again now so I can try it Right, the board's back in again uh, I've already done a little test but I was going to show you that it actually works uh, Let's look at the probes across here to quickly round this time So I'm trying to do this one handed It's always fun so that's the probes on there. Pair it up. Now getting 4.99 volts, which is well within spec. That chip is not getting hot or anything, so that's all fine. The front panel is doing its self test. So it's all looking good. Let's wait for it to finish its test. It's a bit of a uh, Mystery about why the chip actually blew in the first place, it's a bit strange. I did some uh, resistance measurements to the other chips and stuff, they all seemed okay, so I couldn't see any shorts or anything like that, so I don't know why it actually blew. It's a uh, decade counter, it's part of the counter system or divider system. So there you go, self test passed, done, all fixed again. So, yes. Bit of an interesting fault. I was expecting to be another capacitor, but it wasn't. Oh well, done. Okay, just to show you where that part was on the diagrams for this thing. This is, well, I have the service manual for this. So, um, as I think I might have shown before, um, here's all the decay counter stuff here. And the counter which failed was U16, which is right there. Or IC16, rather. So let's zoom in on this a bit more. Try and get it all. Try and get it in place. 
camera. It's got a bit PDF this one, so it's a bit jerky on my computer. So that's that one there. That's the one that failed there. IC16. See, it's just decade counter as part of that main unit. And um, the output from that goes straight to the next decade counter, which is another 74S90, and also splits off over to this IC over here, which is IC21, 74S74, I think that says. Um, yes, so I checked that point there for a short on the output, no issue. And now the other connection is an input, so yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's all very interesting, but um, yeah, all fixed, it's all working alright.